In this series of videos, we will read the Care Certificate Workbooks, both what you need to know and what do you know now. This video covers Standard 15, Infection Prevention and Control. What do you know now? And it's over to my colleague to read through this workbook. The Care Certificate, Infection Prevention and Control. What do you know now? Standard 15, the Care Certificate Workbook. Activity 15.1a. In order to prevent the spread of infection, you need to know how harmful organisms, pathogens, can get onto the body. Describe three main ways of how infection can get onto the body. Infection prevention and control. Describe. To describe means to create a picture with words, but not simply writing a list of bullet points. Activity 15.1c. Workers have an important role in preventing infection spread, not only because they can spread pathogens between individuals, but because they can host or carry a pathogen. Therefore, workers should practice good personal and hand hygiene. Think of someone you support and use three examples to explain how your health or hygiene might pose a risk to the individual. Explain. To explain something, you need to provide a clear account of your understanding, including details like why and how. Some of the words might use you might use <laughs> some of these words might help you to use as headings: illness, clothing, personal hygiene, skin health, and hand hygiene. Activity 15.1 D. The law says workers should be provided with the correct materials and equipment to protect them from injury and as far as possible from risk of infection while at work. List. The term means to identify the main points which can be written as bullet points. Complete the table below to list five examples of common types of PPE, personal protective clothing or personal protective equipment, equipment and procedures and how to use them. And then we've got um, type of PPE equipment or procedure, how and when would you have to use it. Activity 15.1e. Handling infected waste and soiled linen in agreed ways of working can help to prevent the spread of pathogens. Explain how to deal with soiled linen and clinical waste in a safe way. Explain. To explain something, you will need to provide a clear account of your understanding, including details like why and how. Actions to prevent the spread of pathogens when handling soiled linen. And actions to prevent the spread of pathogens when disposing of clinical waste. Thank you for considering Caring for Care to help meet your training needs. We are the top rated care and clinical training provider in the UK. We train tens of thousands of nurses and carers just like you each year. Our courses can be adapted to meet your unique challenges and training needs. Simply discuss this with us. To make your booking or for more information, contact one of our friendly team members on 01782. 563-333 or email inquiries at caringforcare.co.uk